listen to a young girl who was saying that the Arab community here is totally very angry. So be very interested in this point at all. Yes, I want to much meaning and riches to offer humankind. You know, after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these red lights on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet. So you can see that the cocoa germinated and now we are trying to transfer them into polythin bags. You can see the way he goes about it. He places the roots into the soil, not so very deep. One cost-effective way to, to plant the cocoa is to place two siblings on one bulletin bag. This is advantageous to the farmer as he doesn't have to spend too much on plastics and also it is also a way of reducing the use of plastics which in many cases are not biodegradable. This is a demonstration of how to nest cocoa in situations where you do not want to use or polythene bags. The cocoa will be planted on a bit of tilled soil and it shall grow here to some height before it is transferred into the farm. As you can see, the tilling is done with a machete. It is not really the kind of full-blown tilling that is done in some other agri systems. So we nest these siblings, or we prepare them to germinate here at the African Center for Community and Development. And now that they have their roots coming out, we are planting them. In order that they grow here, from here we shall transfer them to our project, for the Green Cradle Project project where we plant foodstuff and conserve biodiversity for sustainable development. We are using this particular area to do this ground nursery because it's a little bit shaded. The sunlight is not aggressive here and Cocoa plant usually strives better 
when there is sunlight but not too much of sunlight especially when it is still just about to grow So we are making another ground nursery for cocoa. When we must have finished, we have to cover it with palm fronds in order that stray fowls do not come and uproot the seedlings that we are planting. Minimum tilling is what we do in such a situation. can be planted in a small surface area. Quelle est l'importance du cacao et dans ces parties du monde L'importance du cacao, on fait beaucoup de trucs. On fait du chocolat pour les enfants, on fait du déjeuner pour les enfants, on fait des biscuits pour les enfants et beaucoup d'autres choses pour le cacao. C'est pour ça que le cacao est beaucoup demandé dans le monde. Et le pays exporte ça aussi Oui, et le Cameroun aussi exporte. This is our cocoa nursery at the African Center for Community and Development. The cocoa trees are doing quite well. There are a couple of thousands of them here that we intend to introduce at our green curl project. It's going to blend with the normal or natural biodiversity of the area. And we hope to achieve a lot in terms of conserving nature while producing food for subpopulations which are close to our work area. We search also into the biology of these plants will also help us in trying to spread out useful practices and knowledge systems that other people can replicate in their own projects as well. Thank you very much for watching people, places and events. That's Larry Ivo at the African Center for Community and Development. So be very interested in this point at more than two.
Plus and the Mall, one can still find footprints of these red lights on the pavements of our contemporary life. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet.